Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about IPv6 neighbor solicitation and neighbor advertisement. This is very important to learn in order to understand how uh, in IPv6 addressing host uh, resolve an IPv6 address into its uh, MAC address. We all know that in IPv4 address this uh, process is based on ARP protocol, ARP or address resolution protocol. So a computer is going to send an ARP request to the destination uh, it is going to broadcast an ARP request and the ARP request will be received by all computers on the network. Uh, the computer which will find in its IPv4 address in the ARP request is going to, re to reply by sending an ARP reply and the ARP reply will contain the MAC address of the destination. So once obtaining the, uh, the MAC address of destination, uh, the computer who sent the ARP request will put the MAC address in the ARP cache and will send a frame and packets encapsulated inside frame with all information available to the destination. Now what happened with IPv6? Little bit things are a little bit different. How? Let's go to this uh, scenario here. We have three routers. I have router R1, R2 and R3. The three, the three routers are connected to the same network switch. Now each one of these routers is assigned with an IPv6 address through its facet and 0, 0. Uh, interface. So now, for example, R1 has uh, this IPv6 address assigned to its fast Ethernet 00. R2 has this IPv6 address assigned to fast Ethernet 00. And R3 has this IPv6 address assigned to its fast Ethernet 00. Now, uh, the point is that whenever a host or a router or a node in general gets an IPv6 address or it con is configured with an IPv6 address, he becomes automatically a member of a multicast group that starts with this prefix FF02 double column 1 column double F. Now this, as you know, this prefix here uh, is used in IPv6 addressing to indicate multicast, multicast address. So now, for example, if we look at this multicast IPv6 address, we understand that the prefix is like this, is bit like uh, FF. 0, 02 double column 1 column double f what is this this is simply taken from the 24 bits to the right of the ipv6 address and the same story repeats here if you look at the ipv6 address assigned to the fast ethernet of r2 uh, you take the 24 bits to the right of it 34 column 22 22 and then you append them to the prefix ff02 double column 1 column ff to generate a multicast address into which R2 is a member because of the IPv6 address which is assigned to its fast Ethernet 00. The same story repeats with R3 which is a member of this multicast group due to its IPv6 address which is assigned to its fast Ethernet 00 interface. Now the purpose of this uh, the of this multicast IPv6 address or this prefix actually this prefix is reserved for two things actually uh, as we're going to see in this example it's reserved for neighbor solicitation and neighbor advertisement so this is a multicast address it's a multicast prefix which is used for neighbor solicitation and neighbor advertisement assume that you are working in router r1 and you'd like to communicate with router r2 r1 knows his ipv6 address he knows his MAC address, of course, for all these are related to the fast Ethernet 00 interface. He knows the IPv6 address of destination, but what is missing, the MAC address of the fast Ethernet 00 uh, interface of router R2. How does it resolve this IPv6 address into its uh, MAC address? Well, it relies on the neighbor solicitation. So R1 is going to send the ICMP packet type 135, which is in fact a neighbor solicitation. Now, this packet, this ICMP packet, has the source IPv6 address unspecified, as you see here, double column, and the destination IPv6 address is nothing but the multicast address uh, or the multicast group address into which R2 is a member through its IPv6 address assigned to the fast Ethernet 00. Now, the target address inside is simply the IPv6 address of the fast Ethernet 00 of router R2. Here, the ICMP packet is specifying what is the target IPv6 address. In fact, for which IPv6 address I want to get the MAC address, or 
uh, he, and he indicates exactly the MAC address related to which IPv6 address. Now, you notice, you, you note here, you observe that the destination IPv6 address is the multicast IPv6 address uh, where R2 is a member, and the source IPv6, uh, IPv6 address is unspecified. Now, as soon as R2 will receive this ICMP packet type 135, which is actually a neighbor solicitation, uh, R2 is going to reply by sending a neighbor advertisement. Now, the neighbor, ad uh, the neighbor advertisement is an ICMP packet type uh, 136, 136. Uh, the source IPv6 address is the IPv6 address assigned to the interface facet in a 00 router R2. And destination IPv6 address is the IPv6 address of the multicast group where R1 belongs to. Now, in the data area of the ICMP packet, you will find the MAC address of the facet in a 00 of uh, router R2. Like this, the Router R1 is going to receive this ICMP packet, which is in fact a neighbor uh, advertisement um, in uh, response to a neighbor solicitation sent from R1. And R1 will simply find the MAC address of the facet 00 of router R2. Like this, R1 will be able to deliver packets to R2 because all IPv6 packets will be encapsulated inside frame and the frames now they have the complete information which is the MAC address of the facet 00 of router R1 and the MAC address of destination which is uh, the facet 00 of router R2. I hope this information is useful. Thank you for viewing this video. This is Hakim Adish. Bye.